Today we are excited to introduce Nexo Cloud Print, a solution that is made to ease and improve your printing experience with Nexo POS and GasGrow. This module is free and today we will show you how to use this module on Nexo POS. Here is how Nexo Cloud Print works. We have on the first hand your remote installation of Nexo POS, which sends requests to mynexopos.com and which will send them to your local installation of Nexo POS. And this one will be responsible of interacting with your printers. This module works with Nexo Print Adapter as it will allow you to create printers that will be synced to mynexopos.com and made available to your local installation of Nexo POS. For this tutorial, we are using Windows 10 and we'll head to the printer's management. Here we have to select the printer we want to use and click on Manage. Then we will click on the printer settings, then Sharing, and we will enable sharing for this printer. Copy the name of the printer, apply, OK. Now we'll move to the printer list, click on Plus to create the printer, pass the printer name. And then we will select as an interface USB because our printer is a USB printer. Now set it as enable and save. From the printer list we can see the printer that we have just created. Now we'll proceed by creating a setup that has printers on mynexopos.com. So I'll click on Printer Setup and scroll to Create Setup. Now provide a name and the actual domain where we want to use it, multistore.div and the license that we want to use. And I click on Create Setup. Now we have our setup set with no print jobs available and no printers. But on top, we have the available print jobs. On the print adapter settings, we will make sure to enable the cloud print option and the print option. Then we will save the settings. Now we will refresh the page so we can see the cloud print tab. When I click on that, I will see a URL that I will use to create an API client. So I will copy the URL and make sure to remember the URL of the website. Now I'll go back to my account and click on Clients. Here I'll provide a name, let's say um, Remote Nexo POS 4.x. I'll go back to copy the URL, pass it here and create. I'll copy the app ID, go back to the remote installation, click on My Nexo POS Client and pass it on app ID. I'll go back and copy secret key and pass it on secret key fill and save the settings. Now on cloud printing tab, I'll click on authenticate. And here basically the remote Nexo POS client we have created want to manage our printers. So I'll approve. And the cloud printing tab, I can select the setup we have created on my nexopos.com. As you can see, it's the same thing. All right, so save the setup. And now I'll go back to cloud printing where I will sync the printers. So I'll click here. And now make sure to select the default printer and save the settings. Now I'll go back to my account and see that here we don't have any printer. So I'll refresh the page and we will see the printer that we have created on the remote installation with the interface USB serial.
So we'll configure Nexop US locally using Laragon. We have this tutorial that explains every step you need to go through. And right after that, we will need to use two modules on the marketplace, which is the Nexo Cloud Print module and my Nexo POS module. So we have a setup ready, but when you have those modules, you will use it on the upload section here. So let's proceed now and configure this installation. We will access the Cloud Print settings and copy the URL to create an API client. Now my account, I'll click on clients and create a client name, local nexo pos x and pass the URL I copied earlier. Now, I will save the API client and copy the app ID, go to the local installation and pass it here. Go back and copy the secret key and pass it here. Save. And now I will click on connect to my Nexo POS. I will log in. And here again, I will approve the local Nexo POS to manage the printers. This will take me back to the cloud print settings where I have to select the setup and assign it to this installation. You can see that here is a sign, but we don't have any print jobs available. Okay, so we need to assign some. I'll have now to go back to my Nexo POS, then printer setups, and here you can see we don't have any print jobs, but on top we have this available. So I will go to the jobs assignation and make sure to assign 1000 print jobs to this setup. When I refresh, you can see that now we have 1000 available. When I go back to the local installation of Nexo POS, we don't have any error. So this means that this setup is monitoring any print jobs coming from my Nexo POS. We will proceed testing by using both environments. On the left side, we'll have the local installation, and on the right side, we'll have the remote installation. Now I'll go to the pause, pick any product, pay, select the customer, take away, full payment, OK. On the left side, we will see a notification that says one print job was successfully processed. So this means it has print. When we go to mynexopos.com, we will see that we have 1000 available. But when I refresh, we have 999. And on the printers, we can see the last print job. And here, it's marked as printed. Yes. If I click on C row, I'll have another view of the receipt that was printed. I can also mark it as unprinted, but when I do that, the local installation will print another copy and it will deduct on the available print jobs for this setup. If I go to the setups, setups, as you can see here, it has deducted one print job. Let's now see how to use the kitchen printing. I'll click on edit here and select the cloud printer. Now I will save and I will make a sale. So I'll select any item, send to the kitchen, customer, dining, yes. On my next appear.com, when I refresh, I see that the print jobs has been updated. If for some reason you run out of print jobs, you can still buy a package here. So that's how to use Nexo Cloud Print on Nexo POS 4. If you have any problem using this item, you can still contact us, we will help you.
Thank you.